JT family. Welcome back to my channel. It's just Terry B and me. Today, I'm going to cook. I'm going to have mussels, shrimp, and some corn on the cob. And I'm going to have it with my beloved sauce that I just made the other day. Like I said before, we're having mussels, shrimp, and some corn on the cob. I'm going to prepare the mussels and the shrimp with some garlic, butter, some crushed red pepper, olive oil, lemon juice, and some white wine. Okay, I am mel melting the butter in some, uh, it's about four tablespoons of butter. I'm melting it in about two tablespoons of um, olive oil. I'm gonna saute my, I'm gonna saute my garlic up a little bit. some crushed pepper in there. Depends on how much heat you want. Some lemon juice. I'm going to put that on top of the mussels. So put in about two tablespoons of white wine. Put my mussels in. This is about 12 mussels. And I'm going to cook them for like 8 minutes before I cook my. I'm going to put a little bit of lemon juice in there too. And I am going to cover it for about 8 minutes. And I'll be right back. Okay. Eight minutes have passed. Now I'm going to add my scripts for about four minutes. Three to four minutes. made sure that I cleaned them, the shrimp, on the underbelly and on the top. Got that vein out of the underbelly, belly, and the top. I have bought, I bought head-on shrimp. Never, ever again will I do that. Never. I promise never to ever do that again. Cover it up. Make sure the shrimp is done. All right. Here's the end result. My mussels and my shrimp. Looks good. Get off the. All right, guys, here it is. It's all done. Now I'm going to prepare everything in a bowl, and I'm going to get ready to feast on my shrimp mussels and corn on the cob with the love sauce. See you in a little. It's time to eat. Hi, JT family. Welcome back. So I have it all prepared here. The mussels, the shrimp, and the corn, and the love sauce. And to drink, I have watermelon it's called water right no i'm sorry grapefruit <laughs> it's called waterloo i have grapefruit sparkling water Let me get into this prayer. 
Lord Jesus, thank you so much for this food that I'm about to receive. Please bless it in your holy name. Amen, amen, amen. Today, I'm going to, I want to ask, today I'm going to talk about a question. Can money make you happy? But I'm going to eat a little first before I start. So, if you're new to this channel, please share, 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 like, comment, and subscribe. Let me take my, uh, what do you call it? Me and my memory is horrible. My thumbnail. Okay. That's good enough. Good enough. Must be getting used to sparkling water. That was good. Get some of this corn, 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 corn. Mmm, ginger. Hot. Oh. Mmm. It's good hot though. Scrimp, 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 scrimp. You know what I want to make next? <clears throat> I'm going to make a good garlic sauce. Beloved, supposed to come out with some kind of garlic sauce. Hmm. Garlic butter sauce. Mmm. I like these much better than the green lip ones. They are too big. I like these little black ones. Muscles. Mm. Oh.
Hey, I'm quiet. So, tell you my question again. Ask you my question again. Can money make or uh, can money buy you happiness? Well, it depends. Depends on how you handle your money. But really, okay, the answer is no, money can't buy you happiness. Your actions are what make you happy. Money can buy you freedom and time, freedom to travel. Well, in my case, freedom to travel. Because some people, I'm not saying that I got money. But some people, the money work, 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 work all the time. And they don't have time to travel. Or they don't take the time to travel. Money will help you take care of your household. Pay your rent, pay your mortgage. Buy your food. Put a roof over your head clothes on your back, help you be debt free in a perfect world, but what money can't buy you is love and genuine, real friendship. So, another question. Would you be, would you rather be happy with no money or unhappy with a lot of money. Well, you don't have to worry about your bills or your bills or some place to live or any problems. You don't have to worry about nothing. But you're not necessarily happy. Me? If I had a choice, I'd rather be happy with money. <laughs> Not either or. <laughs> I don't want to be unhappy with money, and I don't want to be happy without money. I'm a mess with this be love sauce.
it's so good, you don't care. A couple of more shrimp. That'll be all she wrote. Well, I had asked that second question and I didn't answer it. I said, because my answer was, I'd rather be happy with money, but that wasn't the question, right? The question was, would you rather be happy without money or unhappy with money? Well, I don't mean poor, poor happy, like living on the street and stuff like that. I'm talking about can't afford luxuries of going to get your nails done or Get your feet done and or can't go on a lot of trips and on uh, trips and stuff like that but you just all your money's going to your bills but you're very happy and content with your life I think that's the one I would choose I'd rather have no money but paycheck to paycheck and be happy and content with my life. I don't like the way that looks. how you say it in French. <laughs> so guys, share, 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 like, comment, and subscribe. And remember guys, always live life each day as though it were your last. Bye.